and also he was trying to throw the half on his last opponent and he ended up picking him up, slamming him for the fall. He's ready to wrestle. This is as clean and as crisp as I've seen him. Jonas Imami Chogai, 25 years old. He comes out in the blue for the Islamic Republic of Iran. Kyle Dake, the United States, looking for his fourth world championship. And one thing, Reese, anytime you wrestle Iran, you better be ready for the underhook. And that has really been the story for Imami Chogai throughout the course of the day. Yes, all the Iranians have phenomenal pressure. Their backs up, their hips are in. They dig that underhook and they drive people to the edge of the mat. We've seen that a lot in these semifinals, and it's been proven to be very successful. So if he can get to that underhook, Kyle Dake's going to have a little bit of trouble. But right now, they're both fighting very hard for inside ties. Watch Dave. He actually likes the outside elbow tie, and he will use that to get to the legs. But right now, they're both just fighting for a lot of position looking to get their head position and staying inside or controlling that elbow tie. First whistle comes in, 53 seconds in. It's a verbal to Dake. First shot comes from Imago Chagi. In on the leg. And Dake's able to free it and clear out. A lot of motion there. He really had him moving, pushing, faking, snapping. That's how he ended up getting to Kyle Dake's leg. But Dake's defense proving very solid, as always. Stomping that foot down, fighting the hands. With that action, though, he's going to get Dake put on that shot clock. And now he's going to have to score if he doesn't want to give up the point. A shot off the whistle. Imame, nice with the counter. We're back into that Dake bomb position. Almost a score, but nothing. We're killing time here, though. And uh, 15 seconds left on the activity period. Dake trying to lift up on the leg. Still no points awarded near the edge, and they will go out of bounds. And a real early whistle there. Dake can't believe it. Very, very fast call. It seemed like they were still wrestling. It wasn't an out-of-bounds call. That was a stalemate call. Interesting. Activity clock expires, and Imami Chogai grabs the first point. Two minutes into this opening period, the United States of America and Iran, the two nations who will battle it out for the team title this weekend. And on the shot, this is where... Dake is very good, but what a counter by Imamo Chage. Getting his head up from a position that was looked like he was compromised. He switched it, ended up only getting the push out when he had a chance to get a takedown there. But wow, what power. Real strong opening period by Imami Chogai. Matching Dake's power so far through this first period. Drives in his right arm underhook. Dake, the elbow control. Now the two disengage. 20 seconds to go in this first period. You will hear this Iranian crowd just keep getting louder and louder over the next few moments. Short time left in the first period. Great period for Iran. He controlled the center of the mat. He got a couple points, one on the shot clock and one on that nice exchange where Dake was in on the leg and up into the body. One of Dake's best positions. This is going to be fireworks in the second period. Yonasi Mami Chogai, a two-time Asian medalist, won the Asian championship in Mongolia last April. He outscored his opposition in the ranking series event 3-1 to one in July. Very confident coming into these world championships and a 2-0 lead over the defending world champion. Again, Iran with the first contact and inside on a Dake's collar tie. This is a good position to be in for Iran, but Kyle Dake is a proven winner. He's as clutch as they come. This is going to be fireworks here. I'm interested to see Kyle's 
game plan here, but he's still fighting inbounds. He's doing a lot more juking and jiving than he has in past matches, but he's going to look to get on the legs and get back up to that body lock. It's his best position. Even if he just got beat in there, he's going to look to get right back to it. Dake trying to shoot low. Nothing to be found. Nice snap there by the Iranian. He's still putting a lot of pressure, not giving Dake any chance to breathe until he gets in on the single leg. He's coming up, he's staying on the leg this time. Keeping his hands locked is really crucial here. He's using the edge of the mat. He's gonna look to score. Breaks him down, but still wrestling both guys into the body. Nice throw, that's gonna be four points for the American. The step out, the action it normally has continuation. We got four on the mat, one from the judge, but four confirmed. It's looking like four points for the American. Iranians are looking for a challenge. They do push the button. Challenge. This is going to be pretty close because he did step out of bounds, but you normally give the offensive wrestler time to continue out of bounds, and they're going to kind of see how far he was out of bounds, but he clearly exposed feet to back, so it's either going to be four or push out one, and then action stopped. Referee said four, judge said one, Matt Chairman confirmed the four, and this is what they're taking a look at. It's an independent replay panel that determines if this will be one or four. So what they're looking at is the action obviously started in bounds, but did he start that last throw in bounds? And that's what they're gonna be judging if this is a step out or a four point body line. these critical moments to still be looking to score out of bounds it can make the whole match. This is a huge, huge call. And the call is confirmed. Four for Kyle Dake and one point for the challenge loss. The score is going to be five to two with a minute 45 left in the match. Actually, Reese, they're going to go one on the step out. Whoa! So they did not go with the original call, so they overturned it. Challenge won by Iran. It's two to two. Dake is ahead right now. And they tagged Imani Chogai with a caution. So it's one on the push out and then one on the caution for Dake to tie it at two. And now he has the tiebreaker because of the caution. Thanks for that. <laughs> that was a lot. A lot going on here in this match. Two to two. American is ahead with 118 left. A lot of pressure from the Iranian. Nice duck under attempt. Dake with a nice push off, just defending here. Holding center ground. He doesn't want to get anywhere near that edge of the mat. Doesn't want to be in position to get exposed for a push out. This is coming down to the wire. One minute left, a lot of wrestling left. Tied it to Imani Chugai needs to score. Right now, the criteria with Dake. Now Dake's in a position to where he can be defensive, but you have to be a little bit aggressive at the same time because you can get put on a shot clock or you can get called passive, and we've seen that in the past in tight matches. So that's what that fake is right there to make sure that the ref knows that he's not just defending. He still is looking for offense, but Iran definitely has to chase him a little bit. We have not seen one takedown in this match. Will Imami Chogai be able to dial one up late? Premature off the whistle. Both wrestlers will reposition. Imami Chogai will bring everything at Dake now for these final 20 seconds. Dake is going to clamp down for a moment on the leg. Nice attempt. Looks offensive. He got his hands locked, but he didn't want to get exposed in there, so he just let it go. Played the safe route. 10 seconds left. Now he just has to defend. Stay in the center. Five seconds. Nice a shot attempt by Iran. Two, one, time. And Kyle Dake is going to be moving back to the World Finals. 
What a match. Look at the wrestlers. They're both physically exhausted. They gave it everything they had. I'm impressed with both athletes. That could have gone either way. Kyle Day coming out victorious. Challenge coming in late from Iran. So let's revisit the main exchange where we saw the big challenge. Uh, so the Iranians challenging something here late. But they won the challenge earlier, so Dake was given the one for the step out. Yes. The caution had to be clean. the mat would be my only presumption on that. Yes, that's exactly what happened. So if, well, I was mistaken. I thought they called the four and the one, but they only held up the one red, but they held up one red and one red in a passivity, which is a fleeing the hold call. When you get pushed out of bounds, if you don't fight back in, and you can see he was trying to get out, so he couldn't give up that big point, 